Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We are back with more Chrono Arc. I'm loading the last save file. And my god, this is a really long roguelite, huh? Like, we, this is our third episode and we haven't finished one run yet. Hopefully this will be like very close to the end so we can see what all the, uh, you know, all the meta stuff and things we unlocked. But yeah, I'm excited to keep on jumping on in. Let's see what this is. Not this. Oh, this is the boss door. It's interesting how you can just run straight to the boss, but I feel like you get really weak. You, you really need these upgrades. Like, look, it's a free item. Must be identified to learn its effect. Do we, do we might as well upgrade it? Uh, we might as well identify it. Could be bad, right? Spawns a relic display stand in front of the boss. Oh, that's nice. We don't have any current relics. Oh, a random loot one. That's a plus one. Secret walls, moves debuffs, crit plus, weakening in CC, creates a barrier. This one's going to be really good, I feel, uh, if we can, you know, use it correctly. What's this? Upgraded skill, chance to go down, transform an item, a key becomes a relic. Um, you know, let's do it. Let's, let's go ahead and do one of the keys. All right. Oh, I get to choose. Nice. Receive five keys. Unrecoverable relic. Oh, so it's a one-time use. Dang, we were about to turn that into a bunch of these, huh? Um, all allies' pain debuff accuracy is reduced. When an enemy resists pain, deal pain equal to the debuff. Over... What the heck? So this means you want to miss? Oh, this is hella good. Because I feel like... Like I like I don't know if it works this way. Like when you stun an enemy, the 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 CC against that percentage goes up. We we've seen that, but I don't know if it works for pain. IV pack. Whenever an ally escapes death's door, overheal for four. I'm gonna go for this. Let's loot that. I don't know if we want to use it though. Like we can put the relic in front of the boss door. It's a lot of enemies. All right. So yeah, it's the uh, we good? Damn it! Well, okay, let's see what these evade down, getting bit, and everything down. Okay, nothing too crazy. Okay, this guy's attacking next. First thing we're gonna do is overdo this. Let's get in hot in here. Identify weakness of probably this guy. Okay, we have seven left. Pain and weakness. Let's go ahead and get some taunt going. She's gonna get hit, unfortunately. Okay, just kidding. Everyone got hit instead. I should have paralyzed him. I messed up really bad there. The thing is, though, we don't know what their abilities are, so damn. Oh, I just lost a lot of HP for everyone, and we don't have anything to cure them later. That sucks ass. The dodges. Yeah, that sucks. All enemies. Damn, I can't do this plus this. We're going to have to just do this. Oh, yeah, that's really unfortunate. That just happened right there. Um, basic heal. Oh, but she got the uh, healing gauge protection. Yeah. How long does that last? For two... Dude, are you kidding me? Yeah, so she's like one of the perfect units, right? Uh-oh. It didn't kill one of them. Yeah, she's one of the perfect units to take damage. Her healing gauge. Protection. So she can just heal. That's, that's really cool. Uh-oh. Oh god. He's gonna attack again. I'm just gonna take him out. Charge with faith. All the enemies 25. That's three. Might as well do this. Charge of faith. Taunted. He's not attacking next. But there's no we don't have to heal, we just try to kill him now, right? We have four mana left. This is 46. Oh he's just dead. Man, that was a bad one. We lost a lot of health there. Teleport to a random tile. I don't know how useful that is in this game. Okay. Hmm. Teleport to a random tile. Question mark. View a random skill for each member, then replace one you already own with sacrifice knowledge. Oh, man. Smelt equipment or relics and transform into other ones of the same type. Oh, this one might be interesting. 
Okay, so if I remove one of these, it's going to mess up one of these. Uh, it's going to mess up one, but we'll see. Recast the next skill played from hand and take eight. So this is... Oh, wow. All allies. This is a buff, right? All allies. Only activates for skills that are two or lower. Dismantle. More armor down. Oh, that's pretty good. It's a lot of damage. Protecting gas. Healing everyone. Negative. I think I'm going to take this. Forget skill combined arms. It's not the worst. I think that's a really good one to get. We now have a uh, AOE buff. But he has too many skills. We need to definitely lower it. Protect gas. That's healing eight on everyone. Healing hands plus one overload. One ally. I think we can remove one paralyzing dart. And we'll remove... Cast. This is a, this thing, These are all pretty swift, which is nice. Protecting gas. Is my healing rate just one? Just one forget skill. Protect cast. Block one debuff that is not resisted by a party member. Block one debuff. Can we go ahead and put healing? Um. Protect. Oh, cannot be fixed. I was about to say it's hella good. Oh well. Change fixed ability. Healing potion. Healing ray of hell. Chain heal swiftness. We definitely want to go down to five skills only though. Oh man, these are all like decent. Um, I'm gonna remove this one. Okay, does anyone else need to like go down? Five. I have four. We want to level people up soon. Oh, I can level up myself. A card draw item. Is it worth getting? I think this is fine. I think we just keep it, and then we try to level up our 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 party members. A wagon. Oh, we got bread. There's no campfire to use the bread at, though. Skill book, some bread. Leaf, random skill. You can learn bandage. Bandage, it, it heals. It's a it's a one heal, which isn't the worst. Amplify healing amount if they have pain debuff. That is kind of cool. Learning it on Ironheart, I think, would be nice. Lifting scroll. Quick attack. Attack all enemies for eight. This one's good. Swiftness. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna learn it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab a bread. Magic crystal. Bandage. Alright, we'll do that. I really like that ability. Attack. Okay, so we learned quick attack. We have two breads. Now let's get rid of a skill. Rage Slash. I don't really use this. It's good, but I don't really use it. I want to use the quick attack. Basically, we want to... Yeah, we want to Assault Slash and Identify and Quick Attack. I think it's okay to get rid of Rage Slash. Okay. Now remember, you don't have to get rid of any skills. But, you know, playing like a deck builder, you want to remove as much clutter as possible, right? To get the skills that you want. I might have to bread beforehand. Maybe we could find more bread. Oh, I'm thinking about using it then. Uh, let's use it. Plus one. Use one more. Hello, key. Amulet of Calm. Damage, healing, max health, aggro slightly reduced. That's not bad. Blunt force. I'll take that. Alright, does anyone want to wear it though? Reduce aggro. Uh, I mean, if anything, healing 15. Debuff, decrease, blah, blah, blah. Increase all healing of the wearer by 4. That's too good. Aggro slightly reduced could, like, work out. Damn, it's 1700, 1200. Increase attack power for health gauges protected. This is perfect for her because she gets protected health gauge, doesn't she? Pain resist, max health. That's really good, too. Okay, I guess we just keep it to sell it. 800 bucks, you know? But over here, nothing. Now, if I remember the shop, you don't just sell direct, huh? You have to use... Yeah, there's nothing to sell. Oh, you can identify here. That's cool. 
Yeah, you have to use something to get rid of it. That's fine. One more area down here than boss fight. Upgrade and sacri uh, sacrifice class skill upgrade. Choose one of these. Heal 100%. Heal all odds by 50. Man, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I wasted two breads. Oh my god. I should have waited till the boss fight. Big waste. Big. I didn't know that kind of event existed. Alright, at least we're going in fresh. Now, I don't want to activate this, right? Nah. I can activate it by using the transfer scroll. You know what? Let's play safe. Why not? Okay, so this one's now active forever. Hmm. So now if we over now that we escape death's door, we overheal a little bit to help out during this fight. Let's go. Oh god. Okay. Cool looking enemies, man. Fresh souls. 400 health. Uh oh. Fallen light. Healing in That's bullshit. Look at that. Oh my god, that is such bullshit. What's this? Follower, 1 of 10. Attack power increases every turn. Cannot be dispelled. At the end of turn, it casts Death Sentence, prioritizing the owner of the topmost skill. Topmost skill like this. Next turn, the it's reduced. Ignores Lucy skills. Death Sentence? The topmost skill? Huh? It's Taunt. Taunt really doesn't matter much because we have our, our stuff. Paralyzing darts pretty good. Okay, so definitely engine reload. This is weird. It's like reducing it? Isn't that helping me out? Bloodstorm. Playing with fire. A little bit of pain. Shield bash. Let's get rid of the sacrifice knowledge. End of the line. Okay. What should we do? Should we paralyze dart? Paralyze dart a little bit. I'll do a little AOE. Shield bash. Playing with fire. Give a little bit of debuffs on everybody. I saw slash cup. Missed? Are you kidding me with that miss? Man, that sucks. All right, do I want to use anything? CC weakening? I don't think we need to do anything yet. I, I'm gonna activate one of these now. It's a party buff, right? Party barrier. Okay. Wait, he's still attacked. Does that mean stunning beforehand doesn't do shit? I'm on death's door. We're gonna overheal that in a second though. So I guess he attacks the death's door person, right? So that's a little scary. Protective barrier. Converts all allies barrier to a party barrier. Okay, so they're not going. I can go ahead and just chill, I guess. End of the line. End of the line when I'm at death's door, swiftness and more damage. It's supposed to ignore taunt? No, it doesn't ignore. Yeah, it can gain ignore. Oh, I gain ignore taunts. I gotta figure out what to do here. Let me draw two skills and then remove uh, the debuffs. Accelerate, reduce it for the battle. Well, that's pretty good. Hmm, this is pretty good. 44 damage. We'll just start with this then. Heal 22. Why do we heal 22 first? We got some barrier. Plus 2 barrier. Blah, blah. <laughs> He's gonna die. Alright. Protective barrier. Whatever. Turn into protective barrier for free. Bloodstorm. Shield bash into the line. 30. End of the line. Did, did I mess up the... Uh, I should have hit him. I messed up, huh? Draw skill. Healing ray. Yeah. Yeah, I should have killed him. I think I had an ability to ignore the taunt. That's my bad, I think. Pain accuracy. Healing per turn. That's gonna help out. He gets a nice little barrier overheal. End of the line. Oh, never mind. We do have that. So now the uh, now it's on him. Which I think it's pretty good. Basic attack, nice. That sentence. So yeah, he'll just attack the person on top, which is completely fine. 
And we get another free turn. Okay, so we just have to... A Reaper's Call. That's completely fine. Okay, we got anything good. Protecting Gas. This is so good. The plus eight. Because we get Overheal, right? Which equals Barrier. Yeah, Overheal is sick. That's, a, that's an amazing skill. Uh, let's reroll this basic attack. We get a draw. Zoom. Restore mana if discarded, etc. Oh, man. She's stunned this turn. Ignores. Incoming healing. Five mana left. Let's do one of these bad boys. Okay, we can leave Shield Bash like that. Assault Slash. Healing hands. Do we get more barrier? More barrier, right? There's no reason to not use barrier. Oh, it only lasts a turn, though. So wait, it's only good for the turn you use it on? Or is it going to help out for the next debuff block? Yeah, I'm assuming the barrier doesn't even work for like, you know, yeah, I think the barrier is what it is. Mark of death cannot be disabled. Five damage per turn. When hit by another death sentence, all allies will take 26. So we have to switch out the death curse. We have to switch out the death curse. So we have to use this. Chain identify weakness. Can I overheal? I gotta remove one of these. Zoom. Damn. So I can do this. Good. Charge of Faith. Reduce the sk Oh, I messed this one up. I messed this one up. I should have used. Oh no, I used this ability. Ah, crap. What am I doing? Okay, so we want to use this. Two. This happens. Consume all barriers. 54. That happens. A little bit of taunt going on. I don't want to use that. Death sentence. Counter. Okay, so now the mark went on her. So the longer the battle goes, everyone's gonna get death sentenced eventually. So we want a death sentence probably this guy next. Zoom. Armor reduction. It's nice that they kind of all go first. Oh man, look at that. Sacrifice knowledge. Quick attack. Okay, that's fine. Seven mana. We'll do something like this. We'll do a nice charge of faith. Salt slash goes off. 81 damage. And end of my turn. We gotta share the pain, guys. We gotta share the mark of death. Reaper's call. Stunned. Can we? Did we win this one? Man, this guy gets like engine to reload. Uh, it's not terrible. But then I kind of need like an attack skill right now. That's fine. Then we gotta assault slash this hoe. Let's do this. Playing with fire. Good. More attack cards. This guy dies. This guy gets hit. Taunted. I wasn't able to discard any cards here, huh? Healing hands. Mark for death. All right, we got him. Dude, every single boss fight has been a different puzzle, huh? That's pretty cool. All right, he's dead if I just use my skill, right? I think. Healing hands. Fuck you. She can't. Oh my god, now she got stunned. Okay, we got it. Do we still fight this guy? That's gonna be lame if we do. I mean, we don't. We don't oh, we unlocked a new party member. Unlocked Remnant of Madness. Relic. Whenever an enemy is damaged beyond their current health, add any excess to somebody else. Ooh, to the next attack or healing from hand. This is from Hein. Oh. Oh. Wait, did we beat the... I think we beat it. We're unlocking stuff. Like, okay, so this is for the person, but then it's going to go towards, like, any relic you find, right? So, like, we just unlocked something. That's cool. What's oh, an equipment. What was the other one? Other one, relic? Healing up, max health up, evade down, accuracy plus... Received crit chance negative 55, faint resist 15. 
What's favorite is this? Is that like die? Whenever a the wearer plays a skill from hand, gain burn. I forgot how good burn is. Oh, healing gauge protected. That's so good, dude. That's so good. Uh, and, and uh, okay, another equipment attack, healing, max health, pain, accuracy. So this guy, we gotta go. Like we went full heal. Maybe we can do a pain buff, uh, pain build later. When battle starts, the wearer's skills that target enemies gain intoxication. Ally targeted skills gain continuous regen. Don't know what that means. Guards deed. Attack armor CC resist. When battle starts, taunt. Loot the items. Oh, I guess we're still going. Thought it was the end of the run. I guess just reaching this point allows you to unlock that stuff then. Move to the next stage. We got a campfire, please? How, how long is this game? Oh my god. Hey, wait a second. We have the final battle? There's a chicken here. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to use my stuff beforehand? I, I don't know. Berserker blood? My people aren't here. Maybe that's the end of the run. Hello? The weird bird is blocking the way. Hello. What's well, Phoenix? Who are you? Who am I? Well, if you want an introduction. Hiya! I'm the legendary bird phoenix. Remember me, because you'll see me a lot. You'll forget everything in a couple moments. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, congratulations on coming all the way here. Take this. So, it's like Slay the Spire. We can't fight like the, uh... We can't fight the heart until we do some sort of... Maybe we have to play the hard mode. Huh? What am I doing here? You're supposed to be killed by a monster. <laughs> I didn't expect you to arrive from the very beginning. Ooh, is this like a special text that only happens if you go the first time? Have pride in yourself. Not many people are supposed to see this cutscene. What should I do? Thanks to you, we're in a very precarious situation. I can't let you pass. Get out of my way. I can't let you do that. I swear there's a good reason. I won't disturb you next time, so try your best. Damn, so you're like, they wanted you to, to die end time in hour 33. So they 100% wanted you to die the first time. Dude, we're good. I mean, it wasn't that bad, right? 500. This is the 500th, uh, who's this character? We have 30 of these credits. Damn, Street Fighter training stage? What the hell? Who is this guy? Did we see him yet? Hello? Azar. This. Arg. Again, I'm back here again. I get a terrible headache every time I come here. Who are you? How many times do you gotta bring me here? What are you trying to tell me? What am I? I. I developed the Arc project. I'm an investigator. Azar. Wait, what? I think we de. Oh, shit. It's my sworn duty to. Okay, so this character developed the art project, but now it's kind of getting corrupted, and now he thinks he's just an investigator? I think that that's exactly what we just saw. This is the 500th loop, so to speak, in the storyline. And we got to the clock tower. Oh, never mind. Let's go back. When I open my eyes, I'll be back inside the arc. Activate clock tower. Our mission, activate clock tower. That's our mission. So I think for this next run, we'll be a little more experimental. So uh, we might not make it to the end, but it should be fun. You know, just keep trying our new characters and such. Maybe I'll do all four new ones. Lucy. Lucy, wake up. Wake up. We should bring this guy in. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Uh, where? Alright, looks like I made it in time. Where am I? Who are you? Confused, huh? Well, you'll come back to your senses a little. I'm an ARC investigator, a czar. Z Lucy, I've been looking for you. Me? Who am I? I don't remember except Lucy. Yeah, I guess that's to be expected. Lucy, I was. <laughs> <gasps> Strike down. You okay? Azar? Have we met? N no? I feel like you're familiar. We've known each other. Hey, Lucy, you hurt anywhere? No. I'm fine. 
Thank goodness, if you get hurt, we have no chance of activating the clock tower. Clock tower. All right, I need to go to the clock tower as soon as I can. That's my destiny. All right. We'll reach the end for this time for sure. Ah, it's nothing. Let's get out of here. We should head back to the Ark. The Ark? Over there, the floating island. That's the Ark. We already beat the game. Well, I mean, we didn't get to the final, final boss. Your destination, the clock tower, is also there. Ah, clock tower. We can't activate it yet, but I'll explain things more. Come on, let's go. Cool, we're learning more about the world. Let's go. So something about the Ark program, something to maybe protect the world? But then something went awry, now they're stuck in this sort of endless loop. And I guess we don't know if the clock tower is good or bad. Uh, hopefully it becomes more clear and we're not like left in the dark too long. Dude, we have a lot of meta like currency now? Welcome to the Ark, Lucy. This is the Ark. Yes, the only safe haven left in the world. This is a residential area. This place feels relaxing. Like I've been here. This is where you'll be staying from now on. I'm looking forward to working with you, Lucy. Hazar, you're searching for me? Why? Why? It's because you're the girl of prophecy. Prophecy? That's right. You're the hero. Uh, it's been passed down the Ark for generations. We can activate the clock tower with you. My power? Yeah, do you remember? We need a certain resource called time shades. Time shades? They're scattered across the lands. The girl of prophecy can locate them. I see... So those are the bosses, right? We were getting time shards. To us, the land is always shifting, so it's impossible to locate them. But with you, it's a different story. So the first step is to get the time shades. Exciting, huh? It's already late. Let's get some rest. Okay. I've prepared a room. Rest there. See you tomorrow. Whoa. <laughs> Sniffles. 30. The whole run gave me 30. 15 from ooh, warm day warm day record faded photo what's this should i rest do i have to can i play the record or something what's going on looking good lucy is there a point to resting there's an exclamation mark arc project records a warm day oh these are photos View the record. Huh? So interesting, don't you think? What's so interesting, Joey? Just a week ago, we were underground in the cold. Now we're in the sun. Merlin? Merlin. Joey suddenly turned super emotional. Merlin. She's sleeping. Oh my. What was that, Lucy? Joey got so emotional. Who's crying? Uh huh. Who are these people? If we ever enter the Ark, we're going to have felt happiness. We should be thankful to our parents. Yay, my little friends. Annie. There's a lot of people. Who the hell are these people? These aren't the like my group members, right? Oh wait, Joey was the, the guy, right? I wanna buy Gimme. Wasn't Joey the, the guy? Here we are, a little kid, aren't you? Thank you for the treat. Lucy. You talk to Merlin and Annie, but why do you talk to me differently? Joey. Joey, you're the same as me. I don't pay respect to fools. You little you scared me. What is it, sis? Annie. Photo time. Bicker with Lucy makes me feel like I'm down to her level. We're not on the same level. I'm way above you. Hmm. I'll let my father know about this. Okay. Oh, he's angry. I'll get you back. Weird. Okay. Unlocked when the project ends and all characters' golden token of friendship is obtained. Except Azar. Holy shit, what the hell? So we're just learning. Alright, so yeah, these are all characters, huh? Well Joey's the uh Joey's the um uh the plague doctor guy. Who really treats her like shit. So maybe because of the past. Warm day. Faded photo. Is Lucy mm -hmm. So I don't know if Lucy is supposed to be like the little tiny girl or maybe they all grew up together but then she didn't grow up for some reason. Weird, huh? Okay. Man, it really is giving me Danganronpa vibes though. Morning, you ready? 
Let's leave. Wait a minute. I notified... Leah notified the investigative team of your presence. Try talking to anyone you want to recruit. Okay. Are you really... You sure? Despite what I said, we don't need to hurry. Be prepared. How about participating in the training grounds? Oh, no thanks. You can train there anytime you want. Let's hurry up. He's saying the same thing as the first... Uh, we'll head to the Twisted Land when you're ready. Okay, how do I... Uh, let's look around the town. I'm gonna sneeze. these. I pressed tab. What happened? <laughs> Big sorry. Hind. Azar. So we're gonna bring Azar with us next time. He's the next attacker. There's a lot of characters. Jesus. Unlock by defeating the witch one of four times. Almost there. Condition. Learn parry attack from Leon. And parry enemy. Learn parry from Leon. Okay. Okay, so this is happening. This is happening. Oh, look. 5,000 to unlock her. Unlock the curses. I don't know how that works. Double these are the... Okay, same conditions. Defeat the Joker. Defeat the Golem. Defeat... After viewing a certain record, you reach level 3 friendship with 5 investigators. Interesting. This is everyone's starting skills. These are all the eyes we found, some monsters we fought. What's this? Research lab? What is this? I'm paying this to do what? Unlock it permanently? I don't know what this does. I'll, I'll try it in a second. Like, maybe it's the equipment we start with? I hope it's not, like, uh, temporary. It's a vending machine. Purchase gift item. A pistol. SF novel. Shonen manga. Cool. It's Joey again. Suspicious. The girl of prophecy. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on you. Interesting. Is there a map? Okay, vending machine. This thingy. What's this? Oh, it's Phoenix. Huh. Why do you seek me? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, what's up? You got business here? Sorry, I'm guarding it. What's the door? It's a reminder of what happened 80 years ago. It's not in use. Are you protecting something? It's my duty. I do not hold doubts. Leon. Lucy, the mission... Is very important. The area below arc is very dangerous. I'll teach you some simple skills. Learn parry. Parrying is the action of reflecting enemy attacks. This is a, this is our way of unlocking her. If successful, you will not defend, but also render them vulnerable. Parrying is good. Parry skill book. That cost eight, but that's okay. No. Nothing down here, right? So I got the parry skill book. You know what? I think that might just unlock things to find, right? Like, it's not going to start us with it, but it'll help us find it in the future to give us more stuff. Are we heading down? I have to kill those wretches quickly. Kill who? Who do you think? Those pharaoh guys from the Order. I think I talked to them already. What happened to you? Why should I tell you? You think we're friends? Oh no, they were all friends before, right? Hey, what's up, girl? Are you heading down to the Twisted Land? Can I join you? Got my chainsaw. Is she a character too? Laren. Hello there. If you have any questions, ask. Who are you? I work here at the lab. I don't visit the Twisted Land very often, but I am aiding the investigative team. I'm not qualified, but I'm working in the research lab. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. 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 Yep. 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 Holy crap. She talks a lot. Oh my god. It's going on its own. Oh god. Oh god. She's going on her own. Stop it. You guys reading that? Sure. <laughs> yes. Okay, what was the other thing? Ask a question. Basic camp file. Oh, hidden places. Hidden tiles that cannot be easily found. You can reveal them by using scrolls. I know, but how do you find it? I'm not sure. Their locations always change. It's not completely random. They show up in a specific pattern. Once you figure it out, it can become easier. Damn it. Pattern. Okay, we gotta keep track. Okay, hold on. Let me see if there's anything else she wants to talk about. This. Basic attack, heal, protect. These skills are used in early stages. Less useful. You will automatically forget these. You can change it to prevent it. 
for getting as soon as possible. Yeah, it's true. I mean, do we, do we need to ask about campfire though? Heal up, blah, 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 cook. Okay, that doesn't help. Did I talk to you already? We can finally collect it. Hey, the girl of prophecy? Wow, you look like a stone carving. Huh? You can find it in the town entrance. <laughs> Hello. Remyo. This isn't working. I need inspiration. If I can just see those monsters. Hmm. Okay. Mia. We don't have a met before? Hey, what up? Mark. You're the girl from the prophecy? Yes. We can finally start looking. It's not a small feat. The creators of the Ark left up a message. Collect the time shards. They were our only hope. Hmm. Okay. Who the hell are you, Miko? What the freak? Hey, you. What's that necklace you got there? Can I take a closer look? Wow, that's an antique charm to it. This is... This is memories now. What are you doing? It's mine. No, it's not. Give it back. You want it back? Then pay up, brat. I need it as a girl of prophecy. You're the girl of something of the rumors? So what? I still need the money. Money. This is all I have. 50 gold? You're poor, huh? If you stare at me with those eyes, uh, okay, you don't need this. You know, this guy just tricks a bitch. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. We done talking to everybody? Next run? Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, no, go back. Go back. Damn it. Hold on, maybe I can go back. I wanted to go back and unlock stuff with my credits. Shit. Ooh, you do skins now. I don't, I, no, 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 Lucy, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Um, cool. All right, let's get some new characters. Uh, sorry guys, I guess we'll use the credits next time. Change mode. When defeated, an increase hope level. We play the game even if wiped out. When defeated, do not lose party progression and increase hope level. What the hell's hope level? What the hell's hope level? Anyway, play normal, right? Always. Difficulty. That's right, you could change on an expert. <laughs> um, but no, we'll, we'll, you know, once it gets too easy. Okay, let's, let's get all new four characters. We'll do Azar. At the start of each turn, the top most skill in hand receives an illusion sword buff. If you play or discard a illusion buff, create a zero cost illusion buff. Okay, got it. So you're in. Okay, recruited one of two. We start with two. So this is our attacker. She's also an attacker, so we'll guess we'll grab someone else for now. Let's get uh, this this healer, Pressel. Pressel. At the start of each turn, during the skill draw phase, replace one with the below effect. View two random skills and select one to draw. Replace one draw. At level three, draw three skills. So she allows me to get cards like really well. Okay, sure. Uh, view tab info. Nice skills. Items, monsters. What's her tab info? Wasn't there a thing like I can change their starting items or something and I messed <gasps> I messed that up last time? I was sure there was something. Confirm. Select a Lucy skill. Accelerate or snap. I can't change their abilities, right? Their starting abilities. Select a skill, reduce it, sp reduce it by one. Gain swiftness is really good. That's insanely good. Once, swiftness. Remove overload from all party members. If you had zero mana when cast, restore two mana. Damn, that's also good too. Eh, these are all pretty nice. Mm, I'm going to use Accelerate again though. Okay, we good to go in? Oh look, what's the highest level? Level 6 is the highest you get. So for example, my attack power would go 15 to 22. It's not a crazy amount, but it'll be worth it, right? Healing power, weak. It's funny how he has healing power, but then he actually has a healing skill. Maybe everyone has the same healing skill. All right, 
round two, run two, 500, 501. Look, I wonder if we just start with these for the first time. Loop 500. Learn parry. Okay, so parry. Cost two, not swift. 22 damage as opposed to 20 on her. Countdown three, ignore taunt. Countdown three, while the skill is under cooldown, if the selected target attacks a party member, redirect it to yourself and cast the skill immediately. The redirected attack deals 35 less damage and cannot reduce healing gauge. Oh, so it would, so if I was already in the green, it would continue increasing the green. Upon successful parry, okay, this is pretty good. I don't think we use it on her though, on uh, on this chick. I can give him another one though, right? There, two parries. Illusion sword call, swiftness, discard after one turn. Creates two illusion in hand, or apply illusion to stuff. Interesting. So I can change his fixed ability to this? Hmm, two illusion swords, blah, blah, blah. If I do that, I'm never able to use parry attack, so never mind. We'll just do the basic attack. What's her stuff? Basic heal, basic attack, attack. Her attack's really weak, huh? No, it's just one less, it's not that bad. Basic heals, so we have no heals here. We have parries though. And we have basic heals, healing coil. Okay, here's a new. Prophecy, when used on a target other than the user, it's 50% heal the user for 50% oh, also she she it's a kickback heal which is really nice we have no swift skills this is the only swift skill we have all right let's go so we have to learn the the pattern of the uh I guess I don't know we gotta figure something out the pattern of the, the thingies time for prophecy so wasn't something wasn't something supposed to change Oh, maybe on the next one. Passive Prophecy. I'm trying to read it. I'm trying to read it. Maybe when we draw on the next turn. Okay, so two. I forgot what these guys do. Basic Eel. Unfortunately, well, we can get rid of this. Ah, here's Parry. <laughs> Actually, we do a lot of damage. We don't probably don't need to even do any of this. Let's do Parry Attack. You. Oh, crap. <laughs> I thought, I thought it attacks right away. That's my bad. It's all right, whatever. Illusion sword calling. Create two hands or apply it to two, two illusions. How much does this do? Six and six? Too easy. Dark, dark spark. Parried. Parried successfully. It's pretty good. So he did an AOE, but then it parried it. So I think the first thing we need to do is definitely increase mana. Increase mana. We definitely need that. What do we got here? Apply positive. We don't have anything. Damn it. No equipment. No starting equipment. Guess we get two random potions. Alright. We got uh cast one random skill from all skills of investigators. That's random, huh? And then enemy gets more crit more crit against them man how the hell do I know the pattern it's so random I've accelerate accelerates pretty good let's get rid of basic heal parry let's accelerate the bait this one to become swift it's pretty good I have two and then this one no reason to use that we have to hit him with basic attack two nothing else to do and turn she will attack us parry though the parry went off before she even attacked us. So if they don't attack, at least the parry attacks them themselves, right? That's kind of nice. Identify an item. A key. Tablet. Apply a negative to equipment. I don't have any equipment again. Obtain cursed uncommon or obtain 1200 and a Lucy cursed skill. I'm going to get the uh, cursed here must be okay we'll loot it okay so we don't know what the curse is but we can identify it right hp up aggro up armor up let's see uh let's see let's do it 
uh, passive skills are disabled. So if I put this on somebody, passive skills, I thought the curse would be like, oh, you can't take it off, but I guess that's not it. So my passive would be illusion swords, which for some reason I can't really read it anymore. Why can't I read the illusion swords? <laughs> Hello? View illustration. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and for, um, end this episode here. I will continue and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.